If you want clients, you have to go out and get them. But did you know that there's also a way to make clients come to you? Hey, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. 99.999999% of my videos teach you how to go out and land clients. This is called outbound marketing or it might be more accurate to say outbound sales. But there are things that you can do to attract leads to you so that you don't have to approach them and that is called inbound marketing. How lovely! There are a ton of ways to use inbound marketing but in this video we're going to focus on one in particular, you probably already guessed what it is, LinkedIn. Before we get into this I want to be very clear on one, one, two, one thing and that is this. I would not totally rely on inbound marketing yet to bring you new clients. This should complement your outbound marketing strategy, okay? If you need help with your outbound marketing strategy, I've got tons of videos on this, so I will drop those links below. Also, this is what my program Revenue Spark covers. I show you how to land high paying clients so that you can scale your business. I will also drop that link below. Be sure you stick around until the end because I'm gonna cap this off with a few specific ninja tricks that brought significantly more leads into my LinkedIn inbox. We'll get to those in a minute. First, let's start with optimization. Using LinkedIn for inbound marketing, or like I said a moment ago, maybe we'll call it inbound sales, involves optimizing your LinkedIn profile so that when people search for someone like you on LinkedIn, you're going to show up higher in the search results. Remember what we've said before, LinkedIn is a search engine similar to Google. So similar to how you would optimize a web page to get it to show up higher in Google, you're going to optimize your LinkedIn page to get it to show up higher in LinkedIn search results. I've got a video and a free guide that goes into this process in more detail. I will drop those links below. But let's recap this super fast. Optimizing your LinkedIn profile starts with having a primary keyword. Your keyword reflects your niche and your profession, okay? Fitness writer fashion social media manager, medical web developer. You've got your niche and you've got your profession. You're going to use that keyword in your headline, your summary, and if applicable, your job history. Then you're gonna go back and you're going to fill out your profile with what we call secondary keywords. And secondary keywords are any words that have something to do with your primary keyword. Let's do a few examples. Let's say I'm a fitness writer, which I am. Secondary keywords are going to be related to fitness writer, fitness, or writer. Here are some examples. Words related to writer might be SEO, keyword research, topic research, Google rankings. All of those words have to do with writing. And then we've got fitness. Other keywords that have to do with fitness might be high intensity interval training, bodybuilding, CrossFit, wellness, health. All of these secondary keywords either have to do with my niche, fitness, or my profession, writing. Make sense? Once again, you are going to take your secondary keywords and you are going to sprinkle them throughout your profile. One word of caution, do not cram as many keywords in there as possible just to make the LinkedIn algorithms happy. By the way, I've got a whole video on the LinkedIn algorithm, so I will drop that link below. Yes, you wanna make LinkedIn happy, but you have to remember that ultimately, it's going to be human beings reading your profile, so you wanna make them happy too. If you are cramming in too many keywords, your profile is going to end up sounding very awkward and unnatural and robotic. So an easy way to avoid this is to finish your profile, go back and read it out loud. That's the key, you gotta read it out loud. And you are going to hear if it sounds forced. If it does, remove some of those keywords and focus on writing like a human, not a robot. Following these steps and optimizing my profile has helped bring my leads to me because when they're searching for a writer or a content creator or someone who specializes in fitness, I show up very high in search results. So yes, I still do outbound sales and I go get the leads, but the leads are also coming to me. In fact, I closed a lead this week, I'm already getting paid. They came to me because they needed a writer. And don't think it's just clients that are gonna be hitting you up. You might also be getting messages about podcast interviews or appearances in publications. This actually just happened to one of my students in Revenue Spark, Robin. She is a parenting expert and consultant and she works specifically with 
career-driven women. She's a total boss. So anyway, she enrolled in my program in Revenue Spark, and one of the first things my students learn is how to optimize their profiles. This is part of building a very strong foundation, which is one of the reasons that we do this earlier on. So anywho, uh, not too long ago, Robin got a message from this little company, you might have heard of them, they're called Newsweek, and they asked her to be a part of the Newsweek Expert Forum. Guess how they found her? LinkedIn. I can't tell you how powerful this one step is, optimizing your profile. One of my oldest clients, I've been working with them for years, they found me on LinkedIn, hired me almost immediately, and they bring my business about $30,000 a year in revenue. And I didn't even have to go out and find them. That's what I think is so cool. All right, so you know how to optimize your LinkedIn profile so that you can start generating more inbound sales. But I promised you a few extra special tips, so let's get to those next. In your banner image, include a call to action, a CTA. Here's what mine looks like right now. I recently made this update so that it says, ask me or DM me about my freebies. I do that because I want people to see right away when they land on my page that I have free content for them. And this isn't for my agency, just to be clear, it's for people, uh, other professionals like me who need help scaling their business. That's what my freebies are for. People won't know what you want them to do until you tell them. And your banner image is a really good place to do that because it's one of the first things people see and their eyes are very naturally drawn to it. This absolutely contributes to how many opt-ins, how many downloads I'm getting for those freebies. And it's actually started a lot of really valuable conversations in my DMs because people will grab those freebies and then they'll message me to talk more. It's perfect. Also, uh, lead magnets freebies, that's another type of inbound marketing. And I actually have a video all about how to grow your email list from zero using a lead magnet. So I'll drop that link below. Another small change, but very powerful change that you can make to your LinkedIn profile to get more leads to come to you is to feature a testimonial or a few testimonials somewhere very visible. If you can make room in your banner, you can put them there, but more often than not, what I see is people putting them in their summary, in their about me section. You wanna make them as visible as possible there. So either put them towards the top where people can immediately see them, or if they appear further down in your summary, do something to draw the eyes to them, like uh, wrapping them in emojis, kind of like what I did here. Next tip, and I can tell you this is where most people start slacking, you need to spend a few minutes every day, just a few minutes, engaging with other people's content. When you engage with other people's posts, so liking, commenting on them, sharing them, you are making yourself more visible and you're going to start showing up in more people's feeds. This is a really simple way to expand your network because more people are going to be seeing you. LinkedIn loves seeing this type of engagement because it wants people who are active and dedicated to the platform and it will reward you by showing you to more people. Do not spam. Do not go down your newsfeed and just hit like, 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 like. Don't leave generic comments like, nice post. If you're going to do this, do it the right way so that you reap the rewards and leave meaningful interactions. One thing that I like to do to make sure I'm commenting on content that's relevant to me is I will find it using specific hashtags. So I might search the hashtag SEO, find a post that sticks out and drop a comment. That way it's not something that just kind of randomly appeared in my newsfeed. If spending time interacting with other people's content feels overwhelming to you, do what I do, set a timer for five minutes, and all you're doing for five minutes is engaging with other people. And when the timer goes off, you're done. My agency just had its first $17,000 a month, Ooh! and I wouldn't have been able to get there without LinkedIn. If you wanna learn exactly how I did it, then scroll down and click the link below to learn more about my program, Revenue Spark. That is where I will teach you how to scale your own agency so that you can make more money, working less, and ultimately have more freedom. That always sounded too good to be true until I did it myself. Anywho, that link is below. Thanks so much for sticking around. If you found this video helpful and you made it this far, please give it a thumbs up and support my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you are alerted whenever I upload new content and I'll see you next time.